Revy Casino executives hope that this former Medina Temple will be their new temporary location come next year. But people who live and work in this River North area are very worried about traffic and safety. Tonight, casino executives and city officials came prepared to respond to those concerns. Tonight, a full ballroom. Hundreds of nearby residents and business owners came loaded with questions about a temporary casino set to open next year in the heart of River North. I know that area quite well. I also work at conventions. I know the bus traffic. I know how many people are in those areas. Um, so I'm very leery of what they claim will not be an imposition on traffic. It's an estimate, and it's a pretty good estimate, about four vehicles arriving per minute during the rush hour uh, of the street and four vehicles a minute departing. Roughly within 1,000 or 1,300 feet, there's 5,000 parking places. Safety to the surrounding community was a constant concern. I, I think it's, it's pretty clear that the casino is a disruptive force in any neighborhood. These are families, these are children that live there. We're working with Valley Security to ensure um, that we all have a cohesive and collaborative public safety plan. From the outset, $2 million a year uh, to help support uh, the public safety needs. For all the skepticism, there were plenty of people who came to welcome the opportunity, particularly the jobs of a casino in downtown Chicago. I'm hoping to steer people here for jobs. I'm here to understand who their partners are in terms of workforce, and I'm here to see what opportunities might be available. A separate community meeting just like tonight's will be held next Monday night, December 5th, and that meeting is set to discuss the permanent casino location. It will be held from 6 to 8 p.m. at the former Tribune Publishing Plant in River and West, where that permanent casino is expected to open in 2026. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.